Well, it's a filthy day, but this is a cracking boat. She's called Lady Rosemary 2. We're at uh, White Mills Marina near Northampton, and this is where the boat will be moored during the sale, so viewings are by appointment only. She had a full survey last year, July 2023. That will be available on the boat for viewing. She was last blacked in July 23 and had six new anodes put on her at the same time. She's a 57-foot cruiser stern narrowboat built on a Tim Tyler shell, fitted out by Calder Valley Marine and L Deacon. She was built in 2008. The paintwork's lovely. She was repainted in 2015, still in very good condition. The cratch cover was new in 2018, and this pram hood was new last year, 2023. So that's in very good condition as well. Really good head height as well, actually. Lovely boat, as you'll see. So, cruiser stern deck that measures seven feet six inches long, so really good social space with a very comfortable bench that goes across the taff rails there. The engine's in here, it's an Isuzu 42. 1400 hours, just over. Last service in August 23, but hasn't done a lot of motoring since. The battery's at the top of the screen there. There's 380 amp hour domestics. They were new in 2023 and one starter. She's got a bow thruster, it's hydraulic, 55 kgf, very wet day, so it's all a bit miserable. That's the electrics column, there's a little storage in there, and the locker on the left is storage as well. They both lock as well. So down into the, I call it aft cabin, but there's a little area here with all the electrics. Very neatly arranged isolation switches. A couple of portholes in this area, they both open. She's fitted out in light American oak with oak trim. So in those silver cupboards you've got the inverter which is a 3 kilowatt Victron inverter charger. There's a galvanic isolator in there as well. And it's the guts of the electrics basically. And there's a little hanging area actually just by those silver cupboard doors for wet coats and things like that I suppose. Right the bedrooms here it's a fixed double six foot three inches long four feet wide but it does extend by putting this a shelf piece of wood whatever you call it up and it extends to five feet wide the bedroom itself measures nine feet eight inches long there's a jvc stereo there there's a cd radio cupboard above it reading lights on the wall all the lights on the boat are led apart from the strip lights on the roof nice little dressing area here with a mirror four drawers there's a couple of drawers at the end of the bed there for storage and in here's a pull out wardrobe there's two rails one there and one under these coats so you can hang up both levels really nice woodwork on this boat lovely bedroom into the bathroom all the floor flooring on the boat by the way was new last year it's candine in the bed of uh, the bathroom in the kitchen and an oak for the rest of the boat light oak ceramic sink the shower was tiled the loo is a Tecma macerated pump out. Three cupboards there for storage. There's another cupboard in between the shower and the cabin sides. Side hatch here in the galley with a perspex insert. That's not open at the moment because it's chucking it down outside. It's a really good size galley, 8 feet 11 inches long. Four burner gas hob oven and grill on the starboard side. There's a 12 volt fridge here. That's a cool zone. It's got an ice box. Wine rack on the left there bread bin there in that little area and the microwave above it. The microwave is a I can't remember what brand it is actually. Anyway, Kenwood I think. Stainless steel sink. Five drawers. And some really good sized cupboards under the rest of this work area, work surface. The work surface is a laminate by the way. That's the pulley out cupboardy thing, and another cupboard in there. So you can see the floor there in the sitting room, that oak floor is lovely. Candine in here. Here's the cooker, squeaky clean, and some shelves either side of it. It's a Houdini hatch here that adds light and air, as well as the side hatch, of course. The stove's lovely, it's a Go Eco Adventure, 5 kilowatt solid fuel stove, that was brand new last year. You can put a um, kettle and things or a casserole pot on that hot plate on the top of it. 32 inch 
television on the wall there, a couple of super comfy armchairs in the saloon. The saloon measures 11 feet 3 inches long. Head height on the boat 6 foot 7. It's very generous. A couple of cupboards either side of the steps here. The um, TV's got a Romax Max View aerial with it, by the way. Very good, those are apparently. There's the Max View thingy on the wall. The well deck's good size as well. It's over five feet long. Fold down table at the top. A couple of collapsible chairs or comfy picnic chairs would go very nicely in here. Very good condition pram hood. Glazed front doors. I don't know if you noticed that. And back through the boat we go. The water tank stainless steel, 680 litres. Central heating. It's an Aldi system. It runs on gas or electric, connected to three radiators and two towel rails. The towel rail in the bathroom, by the way, runs off electric or the Aldi. And hot water is heated by the Aldi, the engine, or there is also an immersion heater on board. I mentioned the 3 kilowatt inverter. There is also a landline hookup for your 230 volts. Really cosy, this boat. It's so nicely finished. Really lovely boat. Love her. Nice and light as well, actually. Up the steps. Good space out the back here. She's got all the necessary equipment to just turn the key and go, actually. She's in lovely condition. Love this boat. Ready to go. So there we go. Lady Rosemary 2. For further photographs, fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.